today we are going to solve the third problem from uh, the two weekly contest that is minimize solved in this problem uh, there are two positive integers given num1 and num2 and we want to find integer x such that x has same number of set bits as num2 and the value of x zor num1 is minimal note that zor is the bit by zor operation okay so we know um, what are set bits and what is zor right um, so now uh, let's see it with this example right so in this question basically we have three cases all right let's see what three cases basically uh, we have written a test case whose uh, test case and we have written the binary representation of num1 now. so th those three cases are related to num2 and the number of set bits that num2 will have right because x will have number of set bits equal to num2 right so the first case is that the set bits are equal in num2 and num1 the second case is when the set bits in num2 are less than set bits in num1 and the third case is when set bits in num2 are greater than set bits in num1 so uh, basically uh, what we have to do in this is uh, we have to just take the set bits from num2 the number of set bits and we have to arrange them in you know x in such a way that we get uh, by zoring these two numbers num1 and x we will get the minimum zor right so if the set bits let's see the first case when set bits in num2 are equal to set bits in num1 if they are equal then uh, we know the property of zor that uh, whenever there are two equal bits the zor will give zero right so that means when we have uh, set bits in both the numbers equal so we can easily say that we will place them under the set bits in num1 so basically uh, we will keep doing this and we will actually get num1 only so in that case we will simply return num1 right x will be equal to num1 now let's see the second test case in second case um, in second case uh, num2 has less set bits than num1 right when num2 will have less set bits than num1 what do we have to do right so what we'll do is we will traverse from the right right and we will keep putting these set bits right here let's say um this has set bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 right now one has six set bits let's say we have four set bits right we have four set bits so 1 0 1 1 0 and we can have only one more set bit here and the rest of the numbers will be 0 all right okay so this will be the value of x and it will give the minimum sort right now it gets tricky when we have the set bits in num2 greater than the set bits in num1 so one thing is for sure uh, let's say these are six right in num1 set bits are six so let's take an example where set bits in uh, num2 are equal to eight right so when set bits in num2 are equal to eight one thing is for sure wherever we have set bits in num1 we have to place the set bits that we have just below them right just where they are right now we have to decide where do we put the two remaining set bits right so because we want our zor to be minimal so that means if uh, we go from right right if we start putting one here right let's say if we put one here and the other one here so then this these are actually in powers of two right this is two to the power zero two to the power one and so on right so the, uh, these are so many places and this will definitely be like some something like 10 to the power 10 or 10 to the power 11 right so which will actually give us a bigger number right so we don't want that we want it uh, we want to minimize it right so what we will do is we will traverse from this for the remaining bit we will traverse in num1 from the left and then we'll place the remaining set bits in num1 from the left so this will be the minimum 
um, so this way we'll obtain a minimum uh, ZOR between num1 and x. So I hope the logic is clear. Let's move on to the code part. So what we have done in the code part is basically we have taken an integer num set bits right and we have calculated the set bits in num2 all right then uh, we have taken a vector to you know uh, to store the binary representation of num1 all right and uh, we have this function which uh, you know tells uh, wherever a, there is a set bit right at any particular position so then we have created this vector and uh, through this loop we are storing all the numbers inside uh, sorry all the uh, the binary representation of num1 inside this vector then we have taken our integer x which we have to return right then we are traversing from the right right we are traversing from the right and we are placing uh, this our bits wherever um, like as I said, uh, we are traversing like this and we are placing all the ones wherever we find one in num1, right? Wherever we find one in num1 and then after we are done, like after we are done till here, then we will traverse from um, left if there are any bits remaining, for example, this case, if there are any bits remaining, we will traverse from the left and we will fill one wherever we find zero all right so that is what we have done here and then we have returned x 